In this screencast, we will construct an isosceles triangle using a circle like a compass, and we'll also add some captions and text to our isosceles triangle. We'll start with a point A, which will be the vertex of our isosceles triangle, and then we will choose a circle with center through a point. And we'll click on A, the circle. And we'll click on this A is the center point of the circle. And then we'll click on a point on the circle. If we add another point on this circle, point on object. And I'll put it around here we then have an isosceles triangle by connecting these three points. So I'll use segment between two points and connect B to A, A to C, and C to B. My isosceles triangle is dynamic. I can make the circle larger and make uh, a taller isosceles triangle. Uh, or if I bring uh, B closer to C, I can make a narrow isosceles triangle or a uh, wide isosceles triangle. Anything I'd like to do, I can certainly move uh, point C as well. So I think I'll make a nice wide isosceles triangle here. We'll measure the vertex angle with our measure angle tool. Remember, the sides need to sweep counterclockwise. So if I go B, A, C, that will give me this angle here. And I'd like to caption this angle. So to caption this angle, I will right click angle A, get to Object Properties, go to Basic, and I will say um, this, oh, I'll say uh, Angle A is the Vertex Angle. And I need to turn on my captioning. So here's my caption, turning on a caption as well as, as part of my label. If I close, I have a little message here attached to angle A. Now let's measure the base angles of this isosceles triangle. So I will measure angle C, B, A. That has been given the name beta. And I'll also measure angle A, C, B. That has been given the name gamma. What do we notice about these uh, base angles? We notice that they are the same degrees, that they are congruent. So I'd like to use some text to uh, state this. And so here's my text tool. I wish to place the text, oh, here. And my text will say, the base angles of this isosceles triangle are measure and to get the measures I need to put in the two measures of angle beta and angle gamma so I will put in beta here and then I will say space and and I will put in the object 
gamma here. So the angles are congruent. And here's my text. Base angles of this isosceles triangle measure both measure 32.74 degrees. So the angles are congruent. This is the isosceles triangle theorem. That concludes our screencast.